Hey, back in the kitchen with Tanya. She's one of our favorite at-home cooks. She's a mom, she's a wife, all about getting breakfast uh, on the table in a real hurry or uh, handing it to them as the kiddos go out the door, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Before you get on that bus, you have to have something in your, in your stomach and running exactly. out the door all the time. So these are perfect for that. Tell me about this recipe. Good morning, ham cups. I love it. I think it. it says it all. You, I've tried, and I've tried many different types of hams. Honey ham is the best. Okay, so honey ham, pick honey up some ham. honey ham from the deli or, or at the grocery store. The packages, okay. normally get the packages, they'll have exactly 24 pieces in, so you'll have enough for each one of your cups. Perfect, so yep. 24 slices of thinly sliced ham, yes. all right. And you're just gonna spray your muffin tin. Okay. You're just gonna line them. Each one of the... Um, Each one you're gonna put two so, pieces. So let's ham. say that you make these on a Sunday. Do they reheat? They do, Okay, which is great, okay. I'm just going to move your cooking spray so people can see okay. there. So you line each with two pieces. Two pieces of okay. ham overlapping on the bottom. And then should I get to work on the eggs? Yeah, if you want to whisk up the eggs. Okay, so we've got eggs. And a teaspoon of um, salt and a teaspoon of pepper. Okay. And a quarter cup of lemon's milk. Okay. Sunday is kind of my big cooking day, so if I can make a casserole or make some breakfast like this on a Sunday, then all week to have it around, or yes. at least to, to start the week, is great. And just to have a treat, a warm treat like this for the kids for breakfast once in a while, I think it just is kind of a nice wake up. And then what you can do is you can cut a quarter cup onion okay. and a quarter cup of green pepper. Okay. Put them in into a microwave safe dish with a pad of butter. Microwave them for a minute. That's going to get them nice and soft. Great tip. Take them out. When you're done, put saran wrap over them. They'll continue to cook under that heat will condense inside. So you don't have to then like saute, get out a saute pan. No. I love that mm -hmm. idea. So we're, and it, what if the kids don't do onion pepper? Just leave it out? Just leave it out. Leave it out of their cups. Tastes spectacular either way you do it. So if you, I happen to love the peppers and the onions in there. It's like kind of like that Denver really, omelet. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And if you like tomatoes, you can also add tomatoes Ooh, in yeah, there as well. That'd be good. So my it, son is a tomato freak. <laughs> <laughs> really, that's a rare mm -hmm. thing. So yeah. into the microwave this goes for about a minute. For one minute, yes. Okay. That's going to get it soft enough. Just and then it's only about like a half a teaspoon per egg cup, and then need your little measuring cup. Yep, so yep. then you just go basically fill. Just fill it up with some of the scrambled egg. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to even use like a measuring cup too, because then you can pour it. Oop. Or a ladle or a scoop or something ladle like or that. Ladle or something yep, like yep, that, yep, yeah. Yep. And then, then you're gonna put the cheese, and I've done it both ways. I've done it with putting the cheese in the egg mixture. Or just put it straight in the cheese. And it's easier this way. Okay. So, so when those are done, yep, you can mm -hmm. either do the cheese first or the green pepper oh. onion mix. And these are make ahead too. You can make these the night before and Cover really? them with foil and park them in your fridge. Oh, I've that's a that great before. one. That is mm -hmm. a great one. So let's say that the, the then at this sprinkle. point, Tanya would um, cover this with saran wrap, let it sit for another 15, 15 oh, you know, maybe five minutes. Five even. minutes, that's yeah. Just until you yeah, need it. Yeah, just to soften it up mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to do that, but um, then a little bit on for people who like yep, the onions and peppers. Bit. Yep, great. For people who don't, we'll leave it Remote. out. Now, oven temperature for these. 375 for 25 minutes until the eggs are set. Okay. And you're going to open the refrigerator and you're going to see all these poofy things coming out at you. I like the poofy yes. things. Yes. I'm all about poofy things unless it's my hair. All right. <laughs> so you cover it with foil just like the I last one. I actually I bake them without the foil without on. Without the foil on. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, all yeah. right. So we just have the foil on for us here. So bake yes. it without the foil on. You're gonna see all the crispy edges. Ooh, that's ham. my favorite part of the ham. Yes. Ooh. And do they pop right out of there? They do. So I'm gonna get a plate and do you Pretty mind? Effortlessly. Yeah, let me get, couple? yeah, that would be great. And you can see, so I can't hide the green peppers from my daughter because she'll see what's green in there, Mom. <laughs> I hear you. So yeah. make some without for mm -hmm. her. And, and you can, oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Do different cheeses if you want to do cheddar. You could, you know, even try, um, I think a Swiss cheese would be good in here as well. Yum. These look fantastic. And like I say, it's good. more of a method. So once you get the ham cups. in there, you can just put, you know, 
whatever you, you can want do whatever you in want. there. Build really, really house. fun. And they'd be fun to do for a brunch. They would be. That, you know, um, uh, you, you can make several different varieties. Again, serve them with mm -hmm. some, some muffins and some fruit and call it a day. Very easy and inexpensive. And like I said, I've tried other hams. Honey ham seems to be the best. Yeah. There's just something about that flavor. I don't know what it is, but I agree. honey ham works the best. All right. Honey ham it is. That's the kind I buy, too. Mm -hmm. Tanya, thanks so much for coming in. Well, I know you're a busy lady. Yeah. Uh, you work and you got the kids. and uh, But we really appreciate your real mom recipes. Good. Uh, keeping Good. it real. And I can hardly wait to make both that sausage and sage breakfast casserole and these good morning egg cups so thanks again thank you we'll be right back and all the recipes that we did on the show today you can find on our website fox11online.com click on the living tab and recipes and they'll all be right there stay with us we'll be back